Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UI5 projects. In this particular project, we will learn how to integrate Qualtrics in SAP UI5 using iframe. There are certainly different ways by which we can integrate Qualtrics in SAP UI5. This particular scenario will cover iframe. So there are some prerequisite like uh, you need to have a Qualtrics account already set up. You need to create a survey of Qualtrics. And then you need to have web ID access where or business application studio access where you will write SAP UI5 code. So if you talk about the flow of the Qualtrics, it's like you have to visit the Qualtrics website, create a Qualtrics account. Then you need to create a Qualtrics survey. And thereafter, you need to write a simple line of code in SAP UI5 via iframe and use that survey that, that you have recently created. Okay, so we'll directly jump to the Qualtrics. So this is the URL for Qualtrics sign up. We'll add this URL in the description. And this is the URL that you will get after sign up and that will be used for sign in. We have a different post where you can read all types of Qualtrics integration. That is one is iframe. We have also one way where we can write a script. And also we can use something called Fury plugins where we can use this script to add the code in the plugin and reuse for different type of Fury applications. Okay, so we'll try to log in. We have things already saved here. So this is a free account. So a free account have a lot of limitations. It's like you do not get a JavaScript code that you can use for API based integration or JavaScript based integration. So what you can use uh, this free account for is like you can create a survey. You can use email based, you know, survey filling. You can use URL based survey filling. So these two options are enabled for you. And you can also use the same link as iframe in different applications. So we'll start with a project. We'll create a project. So we can choose something that is already there via sample projects. Suppose I choose this one or I can just create a fresh from scratch. Click on get started. I will name it as like uh, employee survey. And I will just create a project. Then, then I need to add some questions. So let's give the two. I will have simple questions like how do you feel today? Good. Okay. Bad. Something, something simple questions that uh, you need to ask your employee on daily basis. You can just uh, plan those questions or the questions related to a particular application that you need to you know, ask a particular user to give feedback. Those type of survey you can create here. And I will add one more question. How do you feel about a salary? I want more. It is fine. I don't want to say. I want to share. Like this, you can certainly ask personal questions that you might feel, you know, bad while asking face to face. So, like this, you can keep adding questions. So, I will just preview. The best part is like they give preview for both laptop and mobile phones. So like this, you can see this in phones and you can see this in the laptops. So in case you find them perfect, so you can just go back and publish it. Copy the link. Now this link you can open in a new tab like this. See two questions all together, but we will use it in our SAP UI4 code. 
So this is a simple application that we have created. We have named it Qualtrics. Inside it, we have a view which is called Qualtrics.view, and we have a controller that has no code. Fine. And within the view, we have something called HTML namespace. The same namespace is used for iframe. And we have kept the height and width as 100% and the source, the same source that we have just created. We'll do control as save and run the application. And voila, you can see. So how you feel today? I feel good. How do you feel about your salary? I want more. Certainly I want more, right? That's it. So now this is recorded in your Qualtrics. So if you go back to Qualtrics, click OK. And see for options like results. It is retaining data. Let it retrieve. So do you see the integration is so simple? Just creation of simple survey, have a link, use iframe and integrate it. And now using UI5, you can create multiple ways to open that survey form. So you can have a fragment in that fragment. You can have this particular iframe, right? You can have a pop-up in sidebar. So there are multiple ways. So as a UI5 coder, you can always think of better ways to showcase the point where you exactly need to have a survey. So it can be like uh, someone has uh, gone through the entire application and you need to get a survey if uh, that particular person has enjoyed it or not. Uh, so then you can have a survey for the app feedback review. Try to refresh, it's taking some more time. So you can see we have the result. Recently, I've taken the survey and I've made it good. And if I go here, I want more. So it is reflected here itself. So the admin can always come to this page and see the feedback from the user. So that's it for the today's videos and we'll meet again. We'll discuss more Qualtrics scenarios. Thank you.